Welcome, the Empress of Tomorrow. She is hypnotic, she is mesmerizing, she is as dangerous as the day is long. Now you are looking at a woman who single-handedly managed to change the entire complexion of the Raw Women's Division. Lived up to the hype, surpassed the expectations, an undefeated run in NXT, NXT Women's Champion. A title she relinquished willingly to head to Monday Night Raw. One of the most dominant female superstars ever in WWE. Walk the plank, Byron, please. Plenty of star power in this tag team match, guys, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Michael. In fact, if you ask me, all four of these competitors have what it takes to be top single stars here in the WWE. these girls who doesn't I don't Byron you only harbor ill will toward Peyton and Billy because you can't sit with them in catering uh, absolutely not I harbor ill will towards them because I've never seen Two ladies who derive so much joy from gossiping and tossing shade at anyone they choose. Well, Peyton and Billy simply enjoy one another's company and spreading the good word around the locker room. Look, I might not be a huge fan of their personalities, but they do have an incredible story. Started out together in Sydney, Australia, came to WWE, signed their contracts at the same time, and now here they are, ready to compete on the big stage. You must have read about that on the internet, Saxton, because I know Peyton and Billy don't talk to you. Look at this, the Iconics shining bright on pay-per-view. Stunning and controversial. WWE Women's Tag Team on the way to the ring. Asuka and Kyrie Sane. And their opponents. They are the Women's Tag Team Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. The Iconic.
what a night. Meyer, you want to know just how confident Peyton Royce is of her abilities? In 2016, she was one of very few women brave enough to actually call out Asuka. Uh, keep in mind, though, Michael, Peyton wasn't by herself when she called out Asuka. She had Billy Kay by her side. It's not like Peyton was looking for a one-on-one -on -one battle. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. Byron brings up a great point that I should have mentioned. Peyton's bravado certainly intensified when Billy Kay was by her side. Strength in numbers. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I encourage it. Just go back and look at what the Iconics were able to do together when they ambushed Asuka in the parking lot. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus after their thrilling best of set. Peyton Royce going for it early and she kicks out with relative ease. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner locked up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Beautiful technique. Devastating kick. Uh-oh. What a hurricane! In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstars' feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee... She's looking at it. We saw 30 women make history in 2018 as the first ever Women's Royal Rumble headlined an epic pay Harsh impact. That could be a game changer. Putting it all on the line. Kyrie Sane, big move coming. Going back to Kyrie Sane's appearance in the Royal Rumble, she walloped Sasha Banks so hard with the insane elbow that night. I heard that Banks actually couldn't see the spotlight for the rest of the evening. Well, unfortunately, Sane's night ended a bit earlier than expected, thanks to Dana Brooke, who obviously worked overtime. But is it enough to end it? I don't know. Sane can recover. Probably not. And there's the kick out. Pinning Kyrie. I'd say that's an insane endeavor. Huh, I'd say you're right. She might. <laughs> what a kick. What a maneuver. Shoulders on the back. Oh, what impact. The ref's out. No good can come of this, Michael. Kyrie Sane has been called the Pirate Princess and is the name she's truly earned. Before stepping in the ring, she actually competed in yacht races. Look, I'll give you the princess part. Sane definitely became royalty when she won the Mae Young Classic. But just because she sails doesn't make Kyrie a pirate. 
She seems way too nice to swashbuckle, quite frankly. Oh, distance there. Corey debated the validity of Kyrie Sane's nickname, but I'm one. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. I think she's trying. Peyton Royce going for it early. You're not going to get her that easy. She's still in this one. Really targeting the back on that one. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to the resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After an Oscar, oh, I knew it was only a matter of time. Man, I'm getting it done. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. The Flex through. Not done yet. Going for a third. The Venus fly trap. Talk about taking care of business. They did it. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. Man, this was great. Who could forget this? Look at her go. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Here are your winners, and still the WWE Women's Tag Team. Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics. Big win here in tag team action tonight. If you're not feeling good about yourself after a win like that, you better get yourself checked. That match certainly lived up to the expectations of what you would see here at Money in the Bank.